Cognitive load theory proposes that while we have a very limited working memory, able to deal with only three to seven elements at once, we have an effectively infinite long-term memory. Our limited processing capacity only applies to novel or new information, so the more that we have stored or automated in our infinite long-term memory, the easier tasks will feel. This is the feeling of competence or expertise. This makes sense. When we learn to read as children, we sound out words looking at each individual letter in very short words. Each letter is another element. As we start automating that process, meaning we hold the shape of words in our long-term memory, we read whole words, putting them together to create sentences. Eventually, we know so much about a topic that we can put sentences together to create conceptual meaning. Imagine two children learning about the food chain in the Serengeti. Child A has never been exposed to African animal names, whilst Child B has grown up hearing stories about African animals and can easily imagine each when named. They're in her long-term memory. While learning, Child A might become overwhelmed by the high interactivity of new knowledge presented in the food chain, given she's simultaneously trying to process the names of the new animals and their interactions. Child B already possesses a schema of knowledge about the animals, so only needs to concentrate on the interactions in the food chain, a much simpler task. Our job as teachers is to ensure that our students have enough long-term memory, or prior knowledge, so that whatever we're presenting does not exceed their working memory processing capacity. This is where pre-testing and spaced practice can help. Watch the next video to discover the three types of cognitive load and what we can do to optimise instruction.